from the city, the city is still. I'm from the city, the city is still. Hey guys, welcome to Pittsburgh. My name's Anthony. With me today, I got my homie. What's up? It's Marty. Uh, today, thanks to Zach C leaving a comment on one of the videos, he said he has three LCSs in the Pittsburgh area. And today we are at the one in Latrobe. It's called SCG Hobby. I'm looking forward to seeing what they have. All right, guys, let's go in here and see what kind of gems we can find. Right off the bat, I see that there is cool stuff, literally wall to wall in abundance. And of course, you know your boys fin to swing by that bargain bin because that's what I do. But let's check out the heat first. Boys gonna look in these display cases and see what they're working with. There's gonna be like a lot of dungeons and dragon stuff. There's a lot of gaming stuff here at this shop which is really cool I believe this was Pokemon stuff could be wrong if I am let me know guys I'm not as big into the gaming side as I once was uh, Pokemon was really what I was a collector and player of back in the day and they had some pretty nice Pokemon singles there some decent prices do love me some Pokemon time to roll my singles there Definitely had to stop and capture it for any of my Pokemon fans that watch this channel. I know that I don't get to display enough stuff for you guys, but there you go. There's a little bit of Detective Pikachu and a whole bunch of wax that they have there. Pretty cool. They have magic. I don't know a whole lot about magic, but I knew, know that it's very, very popular. So there's a big demand for it. So. I figured I will show it off for you guys. Let me know if you see anything super rare or cool in there that I may just glance over for not knowing the product very well. But I know that it's definitely the most popular TCG game out there. So again, guys, just let me know if you see anything really cool because I'm eager to learn even more about it. Over here, you got some Yu-Gi-Oh! which uh, I played a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day. It wasn't necessarily my thing, but uh, I do remember that uh, with Blue Eyes, White Dragon, or whatever it is right there, I used to have a set built around him. But yeah, I mean, there even used to be a TV show for Yu-Gi-Oh! So there is, you know, somewhat of a cult following, which keeps these cards popular and, um, you know, in demand and everything as well. Plus the game, you know, there's a lot of competitive players as well. They even had some Dragon Ball Z card better. Getting into some sports cards now, guys. That's what I came to see. Got some Crosby's there. Sid the Kid. He's that dude. You know it. Definitely gotta check out them Crosby's. One of my favorite hockey players of all time. But then again, I'm from Pittsburgh, so that should be a no brainer. Him and Super Mario. Definitely got some basketball there. Always love looking at some basketball cards. That's my favorite type of cards to buy and sell is basketball. Oh yeah. Got some MJs down there. Some LeBrons. Kobe. Pippin rookie there. I'm talking about some baseball. There's my man Clemente. My favorite baseball player of all time, Roberto Clemente. That dude was just a phenomenal human being as well as a great basketball player. Got some football here, you got some Tommy Brady, you got some Justin Herberts. Got over here. Yeah. Got some Pittsburgh stuff. Got a Patty Mahomes there. With all them Claypool mosaics. I'm pretty sure I have literally every single one of those. Claypool's another one of them guys I'm trying to get a lot of cards for. There's still a, few, a good a good bit I need of his too. So if any of you guys ever have Claypool stuff and you want to trade, definitely hit your boy up because I'm PC and him pretty hard as well. I think he's going to be such a stud. It's another card I'm looking to pick up down here is this Terry Bradshaw rookie card. That's definitely one that I will. Buy. 
I was considering picking it up there, but I decided with there being a card show and a meetup this weekend, I would hold off and, you know, save my money for that. But that's definitely a card that is on my bucket list, that Terry Bradshaw rookie card. I think it's slick. I have two of those Heinz Wards right there at PSA. Currently, those rookies right there. I believe that's Bowman. Aikman rookie there. Some nice stuff down there. I, I love vintage football. I collected football heavy growing up. So a lot of these like older 80s and 90s rookie cards is like stuff I was heavy into. And of course, one of my favorite parts at any local card shop is the bargain bins. And of course, I go right to the Crosby's and the Lemieux's. You know, definitely digging through some Pittsburgh stuff, going for my favorite players. Here's some Bradshaw stuff. Dig, look at this uh, prism right here. Pretty nice. Thought I had that though, so I didn't end up getting it. Definitely one of my favorite things to do and I love when they have it separated by players and by teams and stuff because it makes it so much easier to find what you're actually looking for so that was really cool about this place they did have it kind of pre-organized and set aside of course I'm gonna go through the basketball you know Marty already rifled through and got all the good ones there's a second year West Park there I was checking to see if it was a rookie but I realized it was the second year I'm going to circle back for some Steelers. Okay. A couple cards I wanted you to look over. Nice. Kobe and Jordan? Yes. Nice. Cool. Yep. I need the eyes, and then there's one more in the case I want to talk about. Seven and Yeah, that's it. And then the other one. Ninety-six Jordan tops. Nice. That's why I check those out. So he did end up getting that ninety-six Jordan. That thing was really nice looking. So we'll hope to see what that comes back rated from CSG next month. Should be pretty interesting for anyone who's interested. June seventh is the day I'm shipping that out. Feel free to send anything you'd like, and I can get it into the next group submission and get you your cards back rated. But I definitely was looking through some of these comics. I did end up picking up a Star Wars comic with Darth Vader on it, which is pretty sick. Appreciate you watching this, guys. Until the next video, may God bless you, and I hope you take it easy. Mm -hmm.